Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yep, you're right. Good job. Thank um, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Samir, how are you? Hello, Samir. Hello. I'm fine, thank you. Where are you calling from, Samir? I'm from Egypt. Oh, okay. Very nice. Uh, what part of Egypt are you from? Okay. Uh, a town uh, named uh, Zagazik. The name is Zagazik. Yes. Is it near a big city or is it. Yeah. Yeah, what big city is it near? Uh, Alexandria, Cairo. Okay, so it's in the north. Have you been to Egypt before? No, I have not. I have not. One day. One day I will. But <laughs> but not yet. So, okay, um, welcome everybody. Um, this is Intermediate English, uh, focusing on speaking and listening. And today we are going to do modal, modal verbs. Um, has anybody ever heard this word before? Modals? Modals. Modals, Modal. yeah. yeah. Modals. Modals. Anybody? Maybe me, but I can't remember anything about it. <laughs> okay, okay. So maybe you've heard it before, but you don't remember thing, anything about it. That is okay. Um, I'll just go through a quick explanation of what it is and some of the rules that you might find with modals, and then I will try to get us to practice it as much as possible um, and see how it's used in sentences. So... Um, if everybody could go to Google Drive, uh, there is one document in there, and it's simply called Modals, and you can click on that. <coughs> okay, I have four of you, five. Okay, okay, you're all coming. Good. So again, we're in Google Drive. Mm -hmm. We're in the document Modals. Click on that, and you can see. Yep. All right, so let's see here. Um, a TM Tori, why don't you read um, what modal a modal verb is? Yes. Uh, okay. So, what are modal verbs? A verb that can combines with another verb to indicate mood or tense. A model, also known as a modal auxiliary expresses necessity, uncertainty, ability, or permission. Modal verbs are special verbs which behave very differently from normal verbs. Here are some important differences. Okay, you can stop right there. Thank you so much. Okay, um, first, do you understand the word combine? Everybody understanding the word combine? Yes. Okay, so so these verbs, uh, these modal verbs, need to be with another verb uh, when you put them in a sentence, okay? All right, so they are combined with other verbs, and they indicate mood or tense. Do you understand mood or tense? Yes. Mm. Yes. Uh, Samir, uh, yeah. could you explain? Yeah, tense, like a present, uh, simple present, or future simple simple future or past continuous like that that's the tenses okay yes the tenses yes if it's in uh, continuous uh, or like you said present perfect uh, simple past things like that that is uh, a tense okay what about mood mood uh, state of mind of feeling or feeling that's a perfect answer yes it's a state of mind or feeling um, very very good. Okay, um, when you put a modal verb with another verb, you are expressing certain things, either necessity, uncertainty, ability, or permission. Okay, necessity are things you need to do, um, must is a good one, or uh, so yes, things you must do or need to do. Uncertainty uh, is almost like the future. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. Uh, we are uncertain about the future. We don't know if the sun will come up tomorrow. We want it to come up. It has been coming up for millions of years, 
but one day it might not come up. It's actually uncertain. The ability is uh, to do something, so can, uh, can do something, and permission is where we seek uh, someone allowance, someone to allow us to do something. Uh, like your parents, they they allow you to eat ice cream after dinner only if you eat yes. your vegetables. Yeah. Okay. So here are a few um, simple rules that you can use when we're talking about modal verbs. Uh, when you're talking in third person, he, she, or it, you do not put an S on modal verbs. So if you look at my two examples, he can speak Chinese, okay, you see can, can is the modal verb, okay, it expresses uh, permission or ability. Okay, when you when you can do something, you are you have the ability to do it, or you are allowed to do it. Okay, the other verb is speak, to speak, and you see that the the verb speak does not have an s on it. He can speak Chinese. Let's take the verb can out of the sentence. Now, how would you say it? He speaks, speaks. Chinese. Okay, so yeah. the S goes in there. Once you put in that modal verb, the S is com takes out. Okay, he can speak Chinese. She <laughs> should be here by nine. She should be here by nine. Okay, so no S on the other verb. Okay, um, if you want to say something in a negative tense, you simply use not. Okay, he should not be late. They might not come to the party. If you want, you can contract those and put them together. He shouldn't be late. They mightn't come to the party. Okay. Um, <laughs> It says many modal verbs cannot be used in the past tense or the future tense. What they mean by that is you don't change them, okay? You don't say he will can go with us, okay? Here you have he can go with us. When you want to talk about the future, you can say be able to or to be allowed or will or going to. These are ways to talk about the future using modal verbs, okay? Um, or see how they changed it? She musted study very hard. Musted with that ed right there. You don't try to change it when you go into the past. You leave it alone. You just say she must study very hard, okay? So those are not correct. Okay, so now let's go over these modal verbs, okay? You have the modal verbs are, you know, could, may, will, need, should, ought have to, to, have mm -hmm. to, might, could, may, shall, Okay, here's most of them, I think. Oh, I misspelled shall. That's what happens when you try to write fast. Okay, and can. Um, anyways, you see them in the list, okay? So when they're saying, you know, the word is could, what does it mean when you could do something? What does that mean? Um, it means that it's possible for something to do for someone to do something, okay? So, uh, Samir, can you put the word could in a sentence? Uh, okay. Uh, mm, I could... Uh, I could... Uh, could you... Can you... Uh, is it possible for you to run five kilometers uh, tonight after dinner? Uh, I could uh, run for five kilom kilom kilometers. Could you do that? Yes or no? No. No. <laughs> okay, well, you could just say, I couldn't do that. I couldn't. 
Yeah, I, I could not do that. Okay. Could, could you could you go pick up ice cream after dinner? Yes, I could. I could yes, I could. Perfect, perfect. Yes, I could. I could do that. That is possible for someone to do. For me, that is possible for me. I could do that. Okay. Okay. All right. But I good. can do that. Uh, yes, but then you would just say I can. When you say I can, you're saying uh, not only is it possible, but I probably will. I can do that. Like, uh, Madan, I need you to go pick up my sister from school. You know, could you do that? Y you could say, yes, I could do that. Or if you say, yes, I can, you are saying to me, yes, I will go pick up your sister at school. Okay, oh. I can do that. Okay, could means it's possible. Okay, can basically is saying I will. I can do that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> must do something. Must do. This is when it's absolutely necessary. Okay. Yeah. When the police say, you know, um, slow down or turn around, you can't come through this uh, street. Does that mean you keep driving forward? No, you turn around. The cops are saying you must turn around and go the other way. So police, you have to listen to the police and do what they have to say. Same with your parents. You know, <coughs> they say what? Um, let's see. Wong. I must do my homework. <laughs> yes, you must do your homework. Very good. Wong, what else can you say? Something you must do. Um, everyone um, must uh, follow the laws. Okay, everyone must follow the laws. Okay, good. Um, so yes, must is when you have to do something. If you don't do it, you could get in trouble with the law. You can get in trouble with your parents. You could hurt yourself. Okay, so if you see fire, you must not touch fire if you don't want to burn yourself. I mean, if you do want to burn yourself, then yeah, go ahead, touch the fire. But if you don't want to burn yourself, you must not touch the fire. Okay, uh, let's see. Ekrim, you need to do something. What does it mean when you need to do something? Um, it's necessary to do it, so it will be, it's for my interest, because I need it. Yeah, it's in your interest. It's important to do, okay? It's something yeah. I need for um, my basic survival, for my basic life. It's a, it's a good yeah. idea for me to do, okay? I need to go get my teeth cleaned. I need to pay my taxes. I need to wash my clothes. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Ekrim, can you hear me? No? Okay, I can't I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I see you speaking, but I don't think your mic is on. Hamza, can you hear me? Hello? Hamza? Okay. Anderson, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, Anderson. Hello. Um, can you give me a sentence with need, something that you need to do? Um, I need to clean my house. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, why? Why do you need to clean your house? Uh, because it's important to the health, uh, to... Um, to be comfortable, to be nice, to, to live. Okay, okay. So it's important for the health of your family and yourself, and it just makes everything comfortable and nice to live. Perfect. That's that's a great answer. That's that would I would need to clean my house too if I felt that way. Um, have to, have to do something. When you have to do something, it's absolutely necessary. This is similar to must, but it's just not as strong 
as the word must. Okay, um, it, but it's still a very strong word. Um, so I have to, I have to go to bed. My mom is telling me I have to go to bed. It's time for me to go to bed. You know, I have to go feed my dog every day. Otherwise, my dog will die. Okay, it's also a must. I have to feed my dog. I must feed my dog. They are interchangeable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now you're looking at the negative forms. Uh, when you mustn't do something, it's forbidden to do it. When you couldn't do something, you were unable to do it. Okay. You were mm -hmm. unable to do it. When you don't have to do something, it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just extra. If you're going to do it, it's just extra. You don't have to do it, okay? So just realize when you do do this, it's extra. You don't have to do it. Um, shouldn't do something is when it's not a good idea. Uh, should do something is when it is a good idea and might uh, is when it's possible. So it's here you see all the modals. Um, using the same sentence and it all expresses something different okay I could work on Saturdays what does that mean Madan if you say I could work on Saturdays Madan oh. yes. yes what does it mean if you could work on Saturdays what does that mean No, I couldn't. Okay, so what does it mean, Madan, if you say, I could work on Saturdays? What does the word could mean? Yeah, uh, maybe possible. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly, possible. Okay. Possible. Very good. What about must? Must work on Saturdays. Must be... Uh, uh, Anybody want to help them? It what is it? obligatory. Yes, it's, ob it's right? obligation. Obligation. Yes, yeah. obligation. I, I must. don't have another choice I must go to that work exactly and no other choice and look I mean think about it if your boss is looking at you and says hey you must come into work on Saturday he is not giving you an option he is basically saying to you you either come to work on Saturday mm -hmm. or I will find someone else who will Okay, and if it's not you, I will grab someone else and put them in your spot. It is a must for you to work on Saturdays. Okay, there is no option. Okay, your job is in the balance. Now, so your boss just told you, you must come to work on Saturdays. So you go to the bar to go hang out with your friends. It's Friday night, and you go to your friends, and you're like, man, I hate my boss. I need to go to work tomorrow. I need to go to work on Saturday. Now, I, I basically, I have to go because my boss is making me go. Okay, He's saying I must do it. Okay, and it's so important to him. Now I need to do this. Okay, um, it's very similar to have to. Okay, it 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 shows that it is very important. It's a very, it's 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 it's, it's necessary. Exactly, it's yeah. necessary for me to do it. If I want to keep my job, it's necessary for me to go to work. Okay, yeah. it's the same with I have to. Okay, your 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 wife is like, don't, baby, oh, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. What are you doing trying to wake me up on Saturday? And you're like, listen, hon, I have to go to work. My boss told me I have to go. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Okay? Um, mm -hmm. Must not. ATM Tory, what does it mean when you must not work on Saturdays? 
uh, where it is must, so it's absolutely necessary uh, to work. So that I, that uh, I am, um, so I am necessary for me. I or it's absolutely necessary for me to work on Saturday. Well, what so I haven't a choice. Well, what happens when it's mustn't, must not? What does that mean? So uh, if it is mustn't, so I can't do it because it's forbidden for me. So I, I have no choice. I I I, I must do it. So. Um, I can't uh, I can't stay stay without work so because um, yeah um, maybe maybe uh, uh, maybe there was they're cleaning or something or, or something happened at work where you just can't go in um, they want everybody to stay away like they are cleaning it or uh, it's dangerous or you know there was a fire there and now you can't go in uh, so now you must not go there for your it's health imperative. or for your safety yeah. well, it's imperative for me yes imperative imperative, imperative. Yeah. yes okay uh, couldn't work on Saturdays is just when um, you know I was sick I, I was supposed to go in I got sick I couldn't go in I couldn't work I was sick so I could not do that. And I don't have to work on Saturdays is when you say, hey, I already work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't have to work on Saturday. It's not in my contract. They don't say, hey, I have to go in. So I don't. I don't have to. I already work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's enough. Yes. Okay. Um, and I shouldn't work on Saturdays means it's probably a good idea if I don't. If I say I should work on Saturdays, it's probably a good idea if I do work because I need to uh, pay for my, my, my son to go to university. So I need that extra money. So it's a good idea. I should go to work on Saturdays and earn more money. And then yes. might, uh, I might go in. I don't know. I have other things I need to do on Saturday. Uh, I need to go shopping for Christmas. I need to take my son to um, his football game. Um, if I have enough time, I might go to work on Saturday. I'm not sure though. Maybe. I have a choice. Exactly. I have a choice. So um, I'm not going to go over this right now, but if you scroll down, the, they show you um, different ways you can use these modal verbs. Uh, one way is through probability, saying something might or prob probably will happen and they go through some examples. Um, the next is ability, to show that you can or cannot do something. Okay, And it shows how you use the modal verbs can and could to show ability. Next they have obligation and advice. This is when you have to do something, that's an obligation, and advice is when someone is trying to help you out with words of wisdom, okay? So you should do this, you should do that, okay? That's advice, that's giving helpful information to someone. So if someone is like, <coughs> oh, I, I, I feel so sick, uh, you feel so sick, well, maybe you should drink more water. I don't know. If your throat hurts, maybe you should just go lie down. Maybe you should take it easy and stop smoking all those cigarettes. They're not good for your health. Okay, That's giving someone advice, giving them helpful information that is good for them. That is advice. Okay. Um, may, may, I may I use this uh, like uh, uh, you should go to the doctor. Yeah, 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 that's perfect. Well, when you say you should go to the doctor, you are probably talking to somebody that is complaining to you, saying, oh, my leg hurts, and oh, I just feel bad all over, and oh, this and that. Yes, then you should give the advice, hey, maybe it's good for you, maybe you should, go to the doctor. Maybe they can help. Okay. Okay? Okay. 
Um, also, permission, permission, asking, can I do this? Can I? Can I? Could you? May I? Now, there's two words, okay, that I want to focus on for this, can and the word may. They are the same words, can and may, but one is formal, okay, and the other is informal. Do you know what formal and informal means? Can. Does someone say yes? Yes. Okay, can you explain? Can I use it uh, for what can I say when you say uh, inform, formal, formal? Can is, can, can is, for, which one is formal? Right yes, can is formal. Okay, why? Uh, because uh, you, what can I say? You, you, you are, when you use it, you, uh, uh, you, you, you make an, uh, what can I say? Oh my god, I forgot the word. It's okay, it's okay. I appreciate you trying. It's a kind of, uh, of, uh, of respect you show some, some, someone. Okay, okay. That's a good word, yes. respect. That's, re yes. okay. Respect, yes. Okay. May is, may is not formal. You can use it with friend, like friend, for example. Or a close, close friend. Okay. All right. Well, uh, you have the correct idea of what formal and informal means. It is a form of respect, uh, but you have it uh, backwards. It. You have to switch yes. it. Uh, formal is is when you, let's say you are going to a nice dinner and you have to wear a suit. Okay. You want to look all nice, and that is you being formal. Informal is when you want to go eat pizza and have beer with your friends and you wear sandals and shorts and you know a t-shirt that's informal okay you're just there to have fun um, so the informal word is can can that just means hey you can use that all the time can I do this with you guys hey can we go here uh, can can we go see this movie you use can all the time to ask uh, informal questions, okay, or to say informal things like "I can run." Okay, very basic. Uh, formal is where you are going to that nice uh, dinner with your wife or girlfriend, and you want to impress her. So you're going to wear that nice suit, and you're going to look all nice and good, and you're going to wear the tie, and you're going to have cologne on. And you're going to be all nice. May I get this for you? You know, um, may we do this? May we go there? Now you are um, trying to be humble, and you are trying to ask in a very polite manner. Uh, may you, you know, can to be permitted is what it is. Okay, can is to be able. So when you have the word can, it means to be able to, to do something. But when you have may, you're almost asking to be permitted, to be allowed to do something. Okay, so you're you're asking a little bit more. You you can still ask with can. It's just more formal or more informal. So you you talk it, you say it around your friends um, when you want to ask your boss a question when you want to ask someone that you deeply respect or someone who is older than you you say may and that's just a a nice way to speak any questions no okay all right um, and then last but not least habits okay after permission you have habits when you are talking about things uh, that you usually do or things that you usually uh, did or things that you even did in the past okay you say will or would okay and this is about things that you often do okay uh, it's morning time I'm I will go have coffee I have a coffee every morning. I will go have coffee this morning. Okay. Um, 
and would I would like to have coffee this morning. I would like to have coffee. And that's kind of saying I will like to have coffee. Okay, uh, here's some more practice for you guys uh, at another time. I'm going to skip it, but there's uh, a lot of information. You guys can easily copy this and study it uh, with your own time to better understand that stuff, but I'm going to move on. Okay, uh, they're showing you the different abilities of could. Um, could, may, and might are words that are used to express possibility. Okay, When could, may, and might are in a sentence, they actually change the meaning of the sentence. Okay, So that is the three words could, may, and might. So here are the examples. The first sentence is just what they are. Okay, They are sick. That means what? We're talking about other people, okay? They, those people, they are sick, okay? Um, when you say the word could, they could be sick, we are now saying that me, the speaker, the one who said it, they could be sick, means I'm not sure. I'm not 100% positive if they are sick, but they could be. Maybe they are sick. They look sick, you know. They look like they are sick, but I'm not sure because I did not ask them. They did not tell me if they were sick. So I am guessing. I just think they are sick by what I see around me. So it's possible, but I'm not 100% positive. They could be sick, okay? They might be sick. Again, this means that I, the speaker, is I'm, I'm not I'm not positive that they are sick. It's 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 very similar to the word could. Okay, they might be sick. Again, I don't know. I'm looking at them. They look sick, but I'm not sure. They might be. And here, they may be sick. Last but not least, it's it's basically the same. And the speaker is not positive whether they are sick or not because I don't have proof. I'm just looking. Okay, so they may be sick, but I'm not sure. You guys may be bored. Okay, you could understand this. Maybe I don't know. You might uh, think that this is not helpful information, or maybe you think otherwise. I don't know. <laughs> So, um, let's see here. Do you have any questions with could, may, or might? No, everything is clear. Okay. All right, here uh, they go with some more examples and uh, things that you might want to watch out for uh, when you go to, like, third-person singular. Uh, they show you how not to add the S. Okay, so... Okay. Uh, may I make a question? You may ask a question. I may ask a question. Uh, I want to know if these words are in, in some degree or not. Yes, there is a, a certain degree. Um, then if you went back up where we were talking about um, could, it means it's possible. Uh, should means it's a good idea. Must means you're not allowed to do it. You must not do it. There are different levels, but they all, some some of these words mean the same thing with each other. So they're just different words to to use in the same way. Um, the words that you should know are the ones that do express the different abilities. So should is um, it's a good idea. So to know the word should, it means it's a good idea. So anytime you use that word should, any, okay. you should be using it when it's a good idea to do something. So I just ate chocolate cake. Before I go to bed, I should brush my teeth. It's probably a good idea to brush my teeth 
after eating chocolate cake. Yes. Yeah. Again, yeah. Samir, that's very true. It is also advice. It is advice. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go through. I have some questions uh, with multiple choice ability, and we can uh, go over it, uh, practice it, see if we understand it, uh, and talk about it. So, uh, Samir, I can start start with you. Number one, it says when Tom was sixteen. Yes, he was a faster a, a fast runner. He can or could or can he could yes yes he could run 200 meters in 22 seconds why is the answer could uh, because he did that in best in the best yes he did that in the past the first sentence tells us uh, a, that a we were talking about the past exactly when Tom was 16 so we're talking about back in the day when Tom was a boy he was fast he could run okay so uh, in the past can turns into could okay so I can run but now that I'm old, I can't anymore. But in the past, I could run. So could is can in the past tense. Okay. I'm afraid. Let's see. Madan, can you read number two? Uh, wait. I'm afraid. Number two, where is it? Ah yes, I am afraid I come to your party next Saturday. I can come to your party next Saturday. Do you have what letter? Can't see. Uh, I I afraid I. Ah, uh, I can't come to your party next Saturday okay good yes uh, the answer is C can't uh, we are talking uh, something about the future okay uh, we're talking in the future you don't change can you don't change it in in the future tense okay but it's a negative so I'm saying I cannot come I cannot do it okay please please teacher but uh, Can I ask a question Yes, Can go I ahead. Uh, I am uh, asking what I am telling to. Uh, Hold on, Madan. Madan, one second, please. We cannot say I am afraid. I couldn't come to your party next time. Even if we say next next Saturday, it's a feature. We cannot. We can't use couldn't. Uh, uh, well, you would use could not if you see them after their party, and you're saying I'm so sorry I could not make it to your party. Uh, last week. Okay. Yes. Okay. In the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, couldn't is when it's already happened and you want to just uh, apologize, saying, I couldn't come. I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Madame, what were you saying? Yes. Yeah, yeah, clear. It's clear? Yeah. Okay. All right. So yes, right now we're talking about something in the future. I'm afraid I can't come to your party next Saturday. Okay. Yes. Number three, uh, Wong. Yes. Uh, I'm not in a hungry. I got a plenty of time. Uh, I can wait. Good. Good. We're 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 in the now. We're in the present. I'm not in a hurry. I've got plenty of time. I can wait. Very good. Very good. Uh, we'll keep on moving. If any of you have questions, just like last time, go ahead and ask, okay? Number four. Um, Anderson. Yes. Uh, I was feeling 
terribly sick yesterday. I couldn't eat anything. Perfect. Yes. Could not. Okay. Yes. Uh, yesterday, it shows us it's in the past. So can now becomes in the past tense, could not or could. Okay. So I could not eat anything because yesterday I was feeling terribly sick. I couldn't eat anything. Okay. Very good. Number f uh, Salamata, can you do number five, please? Yes. Yes. Can you speak loudly, please? I can't hear you very well. Okay, very good. Can you speak loudly, please? I can't hear you very well. Perfect. Uh, Samir, number six. Hello, Samir. I'm sorry, I was muting. I, I muted my, my microphone. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you look exhausted. Yes, I couldn't sleep last night. All right, good. You look exhausted. Yes, I could not sleep last night. Very good. Okay. Um, before we continue to on this, uh, let's just talk and let's use uh, our sentences. Um, I am going to ask you just a question to think about, and then I want you to try to come up with any sentences ta using these modal verbs. So try to use these words that I am writing, these modal verbs, okay, try to use it in a sentence. Remember they need to be with other verbs, okay, they cannot stand by themselves. And we are simply going to try to talk about things in the future, okay, so try to use these words. I'll give you an example. I would ask a question, what would you do if you won the lottery, okay? Well, if I won the lottery, I guess I could, Hello? I could, yes, yes, this is an example. So I could say, I could, uh, I could go on a vacation. I could quit my job, I guess. I won the lottery. That's awesome. And then, yeah, I should, I should pay off all my debt. That's probably a good idea. I should pay off my debt. Uh, I can, you know, I can sleep late all day long. I can do whatever I want. Uh, I would, I would travel to Egypt because I've always wanted to see the pyramids. Um, I, I might, I might, I might buy a boat. Okay, things like that. So th those are just ideas. Okay, I ask you a question, and you use these words of talking about possibility, things that you <laughs> might want to do, could do, should do. Um, anything like that, if based on based on the question I ask you, okay? Is everybody clear? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. A T M Tori, would you like to go forward yeah. first? Okay. Here we go. Uh, my Can question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. My question is <laughs> the same to you. What would you do if you win the lottery? Uh, I would uh, buy a new car, new house. <laughs> okay. Try to use the modal verbs in every sentence, okay? So I would buy a new car, <laughs> I would buy a new house. I should, uh, uh, I should, uh, try, I should travel to China or, uh, out, or, uh, can I, can I say, I should uh, travel. Uh, I don't know. Well, okay. When you're uh, saying should, you're saying the word. It, you're saying it's a good idea. Is it a good idea to travel to China, or is this something you might just want to do? Just wanted to uh, to okay. do. Okay. So then, just say I might. That means maybe. Okay. Uh, once you win all that money, should is something that you probably should do with the money. Like, I should probably give some of the money to charity. I should um, make sure that my parents are taken care of. 
uh, and yeah. they you know they don't need to work anymore these are these are good ideas to do with the money that I win from uh, from the lottery I should pay off my house therefore I don't owe any money I should pay my money pay pay my debts off to the bank or whatever okay those are good ideas when you say travel uh, I might I might go to China or you know I can now that I have the money I can I can go to China you know you know what I think I shall I shall go to China I, I know I can I have the money I, I shall I'm going to okay here let's try another one ATM Tori um, what would happen if aliens visited Earth Yes, it was clear for me the the sentences. Um, so, what should I do? Uh, F. What should I tell us? And then what, I can't. Uh, uh, what you. would happen? Well? I'm sorry. What would happen if aliens visited Earth? Uh, what would happen? What would happen? <laughs> They may may eat us. <laughs> they may eat us. Yeah, they might. They might eat might. us. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. No, but those are both good. Those are both good. What else? Anybody else? Or they would be. Mm. They would what? Eat us. They they would probably eat us. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if. I don't know if that's what they came here to do. <laughs> they could, they could just like want to hang out and go disco dancing, or they could want to just hang out on the beach or something. Who knows? Anybody else? What What would happen if aliens visited Earth? Anderson, what do you think? I must run out from them. I I must run away. Yes, I must run, run away. away from them. Run yes. away from them. Good, good. Wong, what do you think? Wong. Same, same thing with that. <laughs> you must run. Oh, I might know. You what, Madan? I might, might and know. You might. Well, what do you want to do? What maybe you will do? Maybe you will do this. Maybe you, you will do that. What happens when aliens come? What will you maybe do? And then you can use the word might. So I might I might hide in the mountains. I might go buy a gun. These are the things that maybe I will do. I might do it. Anything else, Madon? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. Um, okay, let's try this one. In the future, in the future, let's say in 100 years, 100 years, how will people travel in the, in the world? How will people travel from one place to another place? Huang, Huang, what do you think? How will people travel in 100 years? Um, they, like, um, could travel by aeroplane. Okay, they could still be traveling by the aeroplane. Yeah, very good. They could still be doing that. I agree. Uh, anybody else? They may travel travel by rockets. Okay, they may be traveling by rockets. You're right. In a hundred years, that might be cheap. It might be easy. They may be traveling by rockets. Good. What else? Is it maybe or may? They may. Uh, they may travel or may be travel. Well, I am using it as may, M-A-Y, and then be. They may be traveling yes. instead of maybe. They may be traveling um, as one word. I'm using it as two separate words. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm kind of saying they could. They could be traveling. They could be. Yeah, they could be traveling by rockets. They might be traveling by rockets. They may be traveling by rockets uh, they ought to be in the, in, the, in a hundred years with all the technology that we have they ought they ought to be traveling by rockets by by then okay 
it should be happening <laughs> or some 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 form of travel um, but yeah for that uh, Yeah, don't don't use the actual word maybe, but I, I in when I when I speak it, uh, I just say they may they may be doing this. So it is two separate words. Okay. Okay. Um, anybody else? Anybody else have an idea of something that would be happening in a hundred years? How are people traveling? They, should, should should they be done with cars? <laughs> Will they be done with cars? I think yes. Okay. Um, can you think what? Can we say that uh, they wouldn't use cars? Oh, you would say won't. You would say won't. 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 Yeah. They won't, they won't be using cars. Yeah. They won't be using cars in the future. Okay. Um, and that's would not be. They would not be using cars in the future. Okay. Okay. Uh, does that make sense? Yes. For the new cars with the a new design. Yeah, they they will probably be using those new cars, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't be using the old cars, or they won't be cars using with the wings. Because why? The the cars with the wings. Ah, nice cars with the wings. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could yeah. I could go for that. I could go for that. Uh, okay, last one. Um, let's say in. 200 years, 200 years, we have machines doing all our work, okay? Humans no longer have to go to a job. What would humans be doing in 200 years with their free time? With their free time, they have no jobs, okay? All, are, all, all machines are doing all the things that we need. Now we have nothing but 24 hours of free time. What? What will we be doing? Or what could we be doing? Anybody? <clears throat> Should I, I call on somebody? We, I think we uh, we will uh, be eating and playing. You will be eating what? Did you say all day? We will be eating all day? Eating and playing. Okay, okay. All right, so we will get bigger than we already are because we will be eating all day. Extremely bigger. Okay. All right, what else? What else will be happening in 200 years? We have only free time, nothing else. So you can do anything, anything at all. What What could we be doing? What should we be doing? What will we be doing? What will be? What will we be doing? What might we be doing? We could be travel between planets. Okay, we could be traveling between planets. We have nothing else better to do. Why not? Okay, good. What else? What else? In the future, we have no jobs. We just hang out all day long. What? What could we be doing? Could we all be on the beach all day every day? Could we be sleeping for you know 15 hours a day because days. we're so bored? <laughs> or uh, if, I, if I can I sh should dive in in uh, um, under the, the seas. We sh you you want to live under the sea, or you you hope so? I mean, I mean, I mean diving. I mean diving. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we we should be diving, or we would be diving a lot and and hanging out with the fish under the sea. Yeah. Okay, that sounds nice. I I'm a diver. I like to dive. So 
Okay, good, good. Uh, guys, this was just like uh, a, a exercise to get you to think. If, if you're not comfortable with speaking your sentences, try writing down the sentences. Try writing down the sentences using these modal verbs. Just remember, you need these verbs to be with other verbs, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay? Um, also, you don't change them. Leave them alone. Uh, and uh, don't add an S. And then if you need to use the negative form, just put not. Could not, may not, might not would not all that okay any other questions uh, maybe oh. download this file yeah yeah please take it take that file okay take the file uh, use it for practice in fact uh, since we're still here um, let's let's go over for the last two minutes the difference between can and must or can't or must so in section one number one You've been working all night long. You blank be tired. You what should it be? You, you must be tired. You must be must, tired. Must. Yes, yes. You must be tired. You've been working all night long. There is no other explanation. Say again. Me? Yeah, what what was what was it that she said? I, I say, I uh, said, uh, it's normal to be tired. So that's why we, uh, that's why we use must because okay. it's normal. Okay, very good. Yeah, you must be tired. It's it's normal for you to be tired after working all that night. Okay, number two. Uh, let's see, Anderson, can you read it, please? Uh, that doctor can't be pretty famous in the town. Everyone knows him. Okay. Does anybody think it's anything different? Yes, me. Okay, go ahead. The doctor uh, must be pretty famous in the town. Everyone knows him. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that is correct. Uh, sometimes you might want to just switch the sentences. They make more sense. Everyone knows him, so that doctor must be pretty famous in town. Okay, it makes more oh, sense yeah. when you switch those sentences around. Wrong. It's okay, no worries, we're all learning here. Uh, number three, uh, Madan, can you read it please? That restaurant uh, can be very good, it is always empty. Okay, uh, did you say can or cannot? <laughs> Cannot be very good. Okay. Yeah. When you when you say can't, make sure you put that T, that hi hat. Can't. Mm. Okay. Put that hi hat on the.